and the broadcaster who left Channel 4 News to be free to campaign, as he put it, for radical left policies. Paul Mason. Is it racist to want to leave the European Union? Is it racist to want to leave the EU? Paul Mason. I don't think it's racist to want to leave Europe because I want to leave Europe and I count myself as somebody who's fought against racism all my life. I, the reason I want to leave Europe is because it is impossible for the European Union to be a democracy. Simple as that. I don't care about how much it... I don't care how much it costs us. If it was doing its job, I would, it would be worth paying. Um, I think we're going to need more migrants. I also think we have a duty to take refugees. But let's put this at one side for a minute and think about this European choice we're having. I am, despite my belief that Europe just cannot work as it is, very unlikely to vote for Brexit on the day because I do not want to hand power to a bunch of crazed right-wing conservatives. And I do not want to do them. I don't include you in this, by the way, either. And you're a non-crazed right-wing conservative. So this once chance in a lifetime, as we're told no, it no, is... No, it won't what be a one chance in a lifetime. Oh, so I, you're no. with you, Kip. There'll be another chance I if think you lose. Well, look, I think, I'll tell you why. Because I think the European Union is disintegrating. Half the governments of East Europe are racist. Yet we, the, the Eastern European governments are coming forward with people who want coalitions with the far right. I mean, how can this thing uh, persist? But for us to go forward, you know, I don't want to hand Michael Gove and Boris Johnson the chance to shape Britain's constitutional future with no election, no okay. promise of an election, no further referendum on what deal we do. So I'm going to be looking very carefully, I've always said this, at what the position is as I go into that ballot box. But no, to answer the original question... So you might way, vote Remain? Well, I might, but, and, but there are things that the Remain can do to convince me to do that. One would be to, to promise an election within six months of the referendum. Then we can all decide on the future relationship with Europe. Right. That's democracy. Okay. Do you know why there are so many immigrants in Toxteth? Do you know why there are so many black people in Toxteth? Because that is where they were taken as slaves when Liverpool was a slave port. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Up there on the top right. Yeah, I'd just like to take issue with Paul Mason's comments about right-wing conservatives. I mean, you've got to remember that millions of people voted conservative in the last election. It was quite clear in the manifesto there was going to be a referendum. And, you know, to, just to brand conservatives generally, which, yeah. uh, I think it's about 10 million people as yeah. crazed right-wingers. I mean, it's just appalling. And your comments about Toxteth, they're just so inflammatory. No, I mean, it's just appalling, let, the things let, you're let, saying. Let me, be, let me be clear about what I'm saying about the conservatives. Let me be clear about what I'm saying to the, about the Conservatives. We now know what a £35,000 a year in education at Eton buys you. It's the ability to stand up, slag off your opponent, if you're not winning the argument, start raising ludicrous points about the EU banning um, banana bunches more than three. And, and if that doesn't work, you, you, you tussle your hair and you grin uh, in, a, in a kind of inane manner. That, you know, if I'd paid £35,000 a year and sent somebody to, to Eton and they came out doing that, I'd be disgusted. You know, I think that the Tory right is... Who, 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 who. Come on, come on, come on. What are we going to do? Let's get less personal insults. Let's get with the old ones. Well, elements. I'm talking about Alexander Boris de Peffel Johnson, who has, <laughs> who has debased... He is, I'm sorry, he's debasing the rationality of this debate, and you should be very, very worried that this guy could be leading your party if he wins the referendum. I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is these personal insults. Your focus here, and here you are, Paul, a brilliant man, and you're Thank focusing you. on someone's education rather than the arguments uh, this, for or no, against No, no, this, is what, John, this is what John Major was saying. He was saying that the Tory right is adopting UKIP's argument, because this is what the Tories will become if this right-wing faction within it gets their way after the 23rd of June. It's this that frightens me above anything else, actually. Less than UKIP. UKIP is a known factor. We don't know what these guys will do if they take control with your, of your party.